morning everyone this is a wee quickie update for you um i've done a video on werther's originals sugar-free candy and the laxative effect of eating an entire um packet of that not to be done so i was in tesco's a couple of days ago and they are doing a new freest range cookies, chocolate, um, popcorn, all those things. Claiming to be sugar-free, uh, carb-friendly, etc., etc. So I market research had um, chose one of the bars of chocolate. And just to sort of show you the size, this is obviously an empty one. Um, this is the white chocolate with strawberries. There is a milk chocolate and there is a dark chocolate, um, I think with hazelnuts or something like that, and various flavors of uh, chocolate chip, peanut butter um, cookies and stuff. Um, so it claims to be no added sugars, um, scrumptious, and um, in some cases, yes, I'm gluten free. Now, to me, that sounds like a perfect keto um, food, snack. Um, no sugars, you know, or minimal sugars and um, gluten free. So no grains. Um, the sugar alcohol that they use, and forgive me guys, it's about, it's not even, it's just turned seven o'clock in the morning, so I'm a little bit still sleeping, but the sugar alcohol that they use is maltitol and there's 49% in here. Cocoa butter, whole milk powder, 18%. Inulin, uh, freeze-dried strawberries, emulsifier, including, including soya lecithin and natural, excuse me, vanilla flavor. May contain traces of nuts, contains naturally occurring sugars. Here is the small print. Excessive consumption may produce laxative effects. Now, what would you say excessive consumption is? To me, excessive consumption is more than one bar. So a couple of days ago, um, I had a bar over the course of an evening with a glass of wine. Um, I think it was Saturday night. And then within a couple of hours, my tummy was rumbling, you know, and ready to, you know, let it be known it was there, shall we say. But I had had my kale soup and whatever, and I'm thinking, oh, maybe that's just all the green stuff, you know, whatever. Um, so I thought really nothing more of it, but did have a bit of tummy trouble with it that, that evening. Fast forward to yesterday, uh, I was in getting a few bits and pieces and again I did get it um, I got some fresh kale today or yesterday um, which I made a beautiful pot of soup which I have you can hear underneath me um, with treats and Stilton as well it is my favorite soup I have to say and honestly no more than two bowls and I am absolutely stuffed so I've got another wee glass of wine and another one of these I have probably had no more than about two hours sleep last night. Do you remember the Werther's Originals video? That. All over again. Uh, awful. That is clearly, that little, um, what is that, 75 grams, I believe it is in here? 75 grams. Um, little bar of chocolate it's quite thin you know it's not a thick uh, packet when it's you know there it's a thin bar 75 grams that is excessive um, consumption that is an exceedingly laxative inducing uh, bar of chocolate if you have severe constipation I would suggest taking two of these you will not have constipation ever again um, my stomach is still, even this morning. Now, I'm going to get a little bit TMI here, folks. But generally speaking, peristalsis, which is the act of your stomach pushing foodstuffs 
through the digestive canal, through your intestines, out the door. Uh, peristalsis uh, normally gets triggered, um, certainly in me, by eating something or you know chewing gum or something like that. Something where the brain is triggered to say, um, I'm consuming more, intaking more food, therefore I've got to start pushing out what is already in there. That's if that's what peristalsis is. Your brain gets triggered by eating and it sends signals to your digestive canal to say, get rid of this because more's coming in. So a little bit of medical stuff. Um, so that normally gets triggered on eating. This morning, as all last night, um, I was um, right through me, right through me. I'm just gonna put you on pause for a second. Uh, my son is shining for me. Hello! That was like a quick woo 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 uh, So anyway, um, so straight on the loo this morning. Um, needless to say, I've lost a bit of weight. Positive effect of all this, as was the positive effect of the Werther's Originals. Uh, so this 75 gram bar is enough to keep you up all night on the po. Be warned. Does it taste nice? It's bloody delicious. I have to say, as a white chocolate with strawberries, um, and I've tried the, um, in Tesco's there's some of these, you know, really expensive chocolates that have, you know, are much thicker than this, clearly containing, you know, real sugar, um, and have big pieces of strawberries in them. I think it's like chocolate block or something, you call it. Um, I, this is absolutely delicious and probably even more so than the other one. Um, you know, so I can't get away from the fact that it tastes delicious. I'm not suggesting it's not delicious. Um, but eating a bar, 75 grams of this, which I don't consider, generally speaking, to be excessive. You know, who would need a wee bar of that of an evening watching the TV or whatever? Um, just be warned, do not eat an entire pack of this, an entire bar of this. I would suggest no more than, um, it comes sort of, you know, in half and then about four strips, um, you know, that you can break off. And then there's like two little um, bars, you know, two little uh, squares, should I say, on each side. So they printed about eight squares on this. Um, and I would suggest no more than probably two squares of an evening. Um, and even then, that would help you kind of, you know, go the next morning without any undue duress. So please be warned, this is exceedingly laxative inducing or, you know, I had an awful night, folks. I had an awful night. Um, and I woke up about four o'clock this morning and literally clock watched um, every 15 minutes, every half hour um, until I got up about half past six this morning. And my stomach was ready to go straight again. So, uh, you know, a little bit of TMI, I know. But, you know, this is, you know, I'm here to let you guys know because I am market research. Um, <laughs> taste delicious. Definitely laxative um, containing. So, and also I have done a little bit of research on Maltitol. Um, apparently it is the worst sugar alcohol to take. Um, in terms of keto because it has a high glycemic index. So in, a, in essence, I wouldn't be having any of these anymore. It's I don't consider it keto friendly. On the surface, this looks keto friendly and certainly low carb, as it were. Um, from a sugar perspective, there are um, 10 grams of sugars in this, um, on which on a keto diet, I mean, the rest is made up of um, polyols, which is 49 grams of polyols in this. So in the face of it, you're looking at 10 grams of net carbs. However, um, as I say, it's not using the best sugar alcohol for low um, glycemic index and low triggering of your insulin. Um, so if you're on keto, don't use this. If you do like it, if you're just trying to cut down on generally on sugars, um, no more than two bars or two squares per night, folks. Definitely not two bars because you will be dying your backside would turn inside out so delicious low sugar not keto friendly freest 
white chocolate with strawberries. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Have a wonderful day.